we have an anonymous $500 donation. No message, no problem. Indeed. Thank you for that $500 here. We'll read another one. We have Beer Squirrel with a $35 donation says, it's so great to see my favorite pastime being used to bring so much good to this world. Thank you, GDQ, and thank you, Doctors Without Borders. We have Leviathan Thompson with a $50 donation says, I have always wanted to donate to a charity gaming stream. It's so amazing that we can use gaming to drum up so much cash for a good cause. Keep up the amazing work. We had a 50, we, excuse me, a $150 donation from US, excuse me, UCSB bro. I want to make sure I get that right. It says, I just want to congratulate Gymnast86 and all the other people who put so much work into such an awesome run. Keep up the good work. All right, and right now we're going to play a quick Twitch ad, and when we come back, we should be ready with Jerome Good running Doom 2016. All right, welcome back. Um, all right, we're going to throw it over to Jerome Good with Doom 2016. Take it over. Hey. All right, so this is Doom. This is Doom 2016. Uh, we play on the easiest difficulty. I'm just going to start off right now. Um, starts off with a little bit of a cutscene, like 37 seconds long or so. So. Um, Good time to read donations right now. It's, nothing's going to happen. <laughs> Definitely can do that. We have a $30 donation from Chenzi Coden. Says, I've been watching GDQ for several years now, and finally I've been able to make my way to an event. I'm sitting in the front row for one of my favorite games, Doom, Rip and Tear. <laughs> nice. Glad to have you here, man. Hello. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so time starts right when I pick up the pistol. Um, be pretty obvious. It's about three, two, one, now. Sometimes it's a little hard to hit those guys. It seems like the pistol has a little RNG, but yeah. Mm -hmm. And you saw him keep shooting there, actually. What that did is it kept Doom Guy from looking at the gun for a couple seconds, and it just let him hit the button instantly. Yeah, already a time save. Pretty cool. Right here, I pick up a suit. Um, yeah, this is pretty much the longest cutscene in the game. Another good time to read donations. They're right at the beginning, so. All right, we can do that. $30 donation from Matt Kava says, amazing run so far, and it's still the first day. Thank you, everyone involved. Looking forward to the rest of the event. Nice, thanks for the donation. Absolutely. All right, so here we just kind of get a little bit of story. It's about the only story of the game you're going to see. Uh, we're going to skip pretty much everything else. Um, yeah, so. Spoilers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So there's a couple mechanics we use in this game um, to skip a lot of the game. We're going to see two of them right at the beginning after this cutscene. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll point them out for you. So yeah, here's Samuel Hayden, he's talking to us. And yeah, that's about the end. 
of all the cutscenes we're going to watch. So here we go. It's about to speed up a good bit. <laughs> yeah. A little bit annoying to keep resetting and have to watch that, but that's just what happens. All right, so here we go into the first uh, fight room. Um, we're going to just go kill this imp real quick. He's a pretty challenging enemy. Just kill him like that. And um, yeah, keep going. This part's a little RNG with the zombies. He's specifically pulling them over the door here. Yep. Because um, these enemies specifically give very good animations. And if you do a glory kill in the right way, you can just go directly through the wall. Yep, so that was the glory kill skip. Um, just pretty much you do an animation, you go through a wall. It's pretty simple and it breaks the game. Mm -hmm. makes it go really fast. You're pretty much only going to see it with the zombies. However, the clipping with imps actually is somewhat getting figured out. Yep, you'll see that later with an imp. So it's A brand cool. new tech. Yep. All right, so here we go. We're gonna see the rail boost, pretty famous glitch in the game. It makes you just fly. Um, we're gonna boost off a rock in this next level, see how it goes. Mm -hmm. You'll see the uh, FPS counter up in the corner. That's very important for this glitch. Yeah, you need really high FPS to get these. Yeah, so with 200 FPS, he's gonna jump towards that ledge and just shoot across the map. Yeah, and there we go, and that's the end of the level, so. Yeah, so uh, that, that I like how the first level kind of shows off the two main glitches you're going to use throughout this run. So you'll keep see those two uh, rail boosts. That was kind of a rock boost, I guess. But um, you'll see those repeated throughout the whole run just to get out of bounds quickly and get to the end of the level. Yeah, so this is a good time for donations if you want some. 20 seconds or so. As you can see, this room is very well coded. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we have a $123 donation from Gunner Headley. Says, first, long, excuse me, longtime listener, first time donator. This goes out to my wonderful boyfriend, Hayden, who is watching Doom with me from across the country. Thank you for all your work and have a great SGDQ. So Thanks, man. Jerome's going to be setting up for another glory kill skip here. He's going to line himself up to get the perfect spot. And then he's going to sit up for the animation and just punch right through the yep, wall. Yep, right through the wall. It's not over yet. There's plenty more to go. Yep. Here's a glitch if you want to explain it. It's, uh... So while you're scoping, oh, for whatever I... reason, at least on the pistol and the uh, assault rifle, the ability to interact with objects oh. in general. Dang, messed um, that up. Just you can do it from a longer distance. Yep. And so we uh, bind um, scope to scroll wheel and then just kind of mash and hope that it works. Yep, exactly. It's kind of sometimes a little bit feels like RNG, but it's just kind of luck if you get the fast one. So we'll try this again. Yeah, you have to be very specific when you are moving out of bounds. Otherwise, mm -hmm. you can fall into like ditches or just fall out of the map. Or in back inbounds or any of these other things. Yep. And obviously, you can't really see where you're going most of the time, so. Yeah, this one's a little tricky sometimes. But yeah, there's the end of the level. All right, so this third level is pretty hard. It's probably the hardest part of the game. Um, heavy out of bounds usage here. Probably the most famous skip of yeah, the game. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to try to take it really fast, and uh, we'll just see how it goes. But yeah, a little cutscene at the beginning here, so if you want to read some donations, this is another good time. Absolutely. We will get to those. We have a $30 donation from SMDZ says, donated a couple times and have been watching GDQ for a long while, but now it's time for some doom. Let's shoot for two million again. We can do it. Oh, yeah. That would be awesome. 
We have a $50 donation from Cyborg Rachel, says excited to see Doom 2016 done fast. Such a great game and being done for a great cause. Always love watching the GDQ events and can't wait for my sleep schedule to be completely ruined. It's the best week of summer. All right, so I'm doing some uh, loading checkpoints. It saves in-game time, probably not faster real time, but I'm just used to doing it, so. There's that new rail boost here that, oh, oh. slightly missed it. Uh, I'll, try, I'll try for it one more time. Sometimes hard, enough, hard to get enough FPS in this section. So uh, basically the way the game tries to calculate the collision, the higher oh. the frame rate, the harder it is to like, keep your character near the object, and so it just pushes you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, pretty, it's a really cool mechanic, but uh, you have to be really precise with it. I think I'm going to not try it anymore. It's, and that <laughs> one, uh, I, I just don't think I'm getting quite enough frames per second here. So um, you need 200 a lot of the time to get these rail boosts. Which luckily is kind of the uh, max of the engine in the first place. If it was any higher, you'd probably just fly off and die most of the time. <laughs> yeah. So. so he's going to hop up here and hit a checkpoint to make it convenient for the next thing he's going to do, which is grab the rocket launcher. Correct, yep. Uh, get the rocket launcher. Um, this, it's really nice to have the rocket launcher in a couple fights just because it makes, um, makes them a lot faster. It kills a lot of enemies at the same time. All right, so got it. And now on to probably the hardest part of the game. We'll see how I do. I just want to preface this with it's harder than it looks, and it looks hard. So he's going to be setting up for a glory kill skip here first to get out of bounds. And now he's going to proceed to jump out of bounds throughout the entire level for the rest of the level. So now he's left that room and he's actually headed to the final foundry fight. Yep. But you hopefully won't see it all. So we can rocket boost up top here and now he just has to very particularly jump on specific collision that he can walk on. And if you fall at all, you have to do the fight. Yep, almost to the end here. So now he's got to jump to the very end, which is very particular. All right, got it. Perfect. <laughs> Those ledges are as thin as they look, I yeah. promise. If you just slightly step in the wrong place, you're going to fall there. So pretty happy I got it first try. Uh, next level, this one's one of the shorter. I think it might be the shortest level in the game. Um, I think so, yeah. yeah. You just pretty much do one rail boost, and then it's, and then it's over. You can prevent her from opening the gate by disabling the tower induction filters. I pick up a gun there, so I have ammo later for um, the Gauss cannon, which is coming up soon. Mm -hmm. You'll see why that's broken. Yep. There are a lot of weapons with shared ammo pools, so yep. getting the ammo early means it's full later. So he's just using his pistol to kind of figure out his setup here. Yep. And he can boost on another rail. And here we are. And that's the end of the level. <laughs> yeah, so um, that's pretty much, you'll see a lot of rail boosts like that just go right to the end. It's, it's really nice and makes this game fast. Um, they're pretty rewarding to hit, too, because they require such a precise setup. Um, there's lots of things that go into it. Mm -hmm. All right, so here's Argent Tower. It's one of, it's pretty cool. You'll see in a second. Um, pretty famous, you just, well, you'll see what happens. Uh, a lot of new development has actually happened in this level. Uh, shout, out, shout outs to Seeker, he's watching this. Um, he found a pretty consistent way to get the countdown to go faster at the end. Um, that'll become apparent what that means in just a second. So we have a really tall tower here. But you can guess how we're going to get up. <laughs> exactly. All right. So just got to find the right place on the ground. And there we go. You just boost right to the top of this thing. And yeah, that, that one's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. 
right there I picked up the Gauss cannon. Um, this is the gun that's, it makes you go really fast. It's broken, you can boost upward, boost sideways. It's mm -hmm. just, it's pretty cool. And right there I just jumped down to grab it before this fight, so I have it for later. So this fight is timed in a specific way where you have to kill a certain amount of enemies and then it's going to start a countdown timer for the area to explode? Yep. There's the first timer. Um, once you see the first timer go, you can just start, proceed to jump down all the way. And he did need the invincibility room or he would have died. Yeah, exactly. Um, now I'm kind of just pretty much wait till the countdown uh, starts up the second one. Here it goes. I'm going to wait till it says seven and pick this up. This, yeah, this just gives me more ammo for later for the Gauss. And the game just crashed. Okay. Unfortunate. Uh, that, that did happen to me in practice. I was hoping it didn't happen in this run, but uh, oh well. It wouldn't be a GDQ run without a crash on Doom. <laughs> yeah, unfortunate. Um, that's okay though. I went a route where it doesn't matter as much. I'll try to see if it doesn't crash again this time, but yeah, a little unfortunate. Oh well. Never actually had this crash happen to me before coming here, so <laughs> it's a new thing. Marathon luck for you. <laughs> So we're going to just go back into the game here and do that fight over again. So you'll get to see, yeah, you'll get to see exactly what you just saw one more time. Sorry about that. <laughs> we have time for a few donations. Yeah, you can yeah. just go the whole time if you want to land. <laughs> sure thing, we'll do. We have a $30 donation from Postmodern Lock. Says, figured I should donate instead of buying more games on Steam that I'll never play. Good luck to all of the runners. We have a $30 donation from Sidreal61, says, Love Doom 2016. Here is to an amazing game with an amazing soundtrack and one of the best events in the world. Oh, no. Oh, no. I guess my Steam notifications came back on. I might need to change that. Yeah, I'll do it after this level. Okay, I'm going to grab it early to see. I don't know why that got reset, and it happened again. Okay, well, a okay. little, little unfortunate. Uh, I'm gonna do a couple things, I guess, real quick now, like the Steam uh, settings. Uh, I don't know, my Steam settings say I shouldn't be able to get them, but oh well. Let's see here. Uh, let's see, delete. Okay, so I don't really know uh, why it's crashing. I'm just gonna let the countdown go and not pick up that ammo. Maybe that will help, because it seems to be crashing when it's doing that, so. Yeah, I don't know why. Okay. Okay, uh, we're gonna take a quick break while we get uh, everything kind of handled out here, and we'll be right back. Uh, click bottom right. All right, we'll read a few more donations here while we get everything situated here. 
Let's see, we have a $250 donation from Alex237. Says, loving the Doom Run, and I sincerely appreciate the dedication of our organizers for facilitating one of the most entertaining and thrilling charitable events of the year. We have another $250 donation from Blackout Voidwalker. Says, first time watching SGDQ, had to donate during one of my favorite games, Rip and Tear. All right, I think we've got everything situated, so we're going to send it back over. Okay, uh, we should be good now. I'm going to just do this fight again, and we'll see what happens. You can read a few more donations if you would like. Yeah, for sure. All right, absolutely. Let's see, we have a $50 donation from Mooniversal. Says, hello, this is my first time getting to watch a GDQ live, and I can't help but donate for such a great cause. Good luck on the Doom 2016 run. Rip and tear. Donation goes to Reader's Choice. $25 donation from Jest says, absolutely loves the absolutely love this amazing event happening. Have to donate when Doom is coming up. Fantastic games. Greetings from Denmark. All right, so I'm not gonna grab the ammo. I guess that was making it crash for some reason. So I'll just wait for it to uh, go and we're gonna have a little less ammo throughout the run, but shouldn't be too big of a deal. So just waiting for this countdown to go. Please don't crash. Okay, we're good. Great. A little bit unfortunate technical difficulties, but uh, we'll just proceed from here. Oh, thanks. <laughs> All right. This is another very, very short level. Yep, very short. Uh, we're going to just get out of bounds as quickly as possible and see how it goes. It's actually a really interesting level normally. But, you know, fast is fast. All right, so I'm going to Gauss boost up here, grab this ledge. Oh, it just kind of, OK. Just lagged a bit, but it's OK. Oh, I missed that Gauss boost. So he's going to try to hit an invisible floor here. Yep. Go out here. Um, it's pretty cool looking. You just kind of proceed through the whole level. Uh, I ran out of ammo. That's not too good. Um, I think one of them. One of my shots actually ate two ammo. That can sometimes happen. So I'm going to have to go a little bit different route on this next level. Luckily, you can still finish this level with yeah, that ammo. Exactly. All right, so that's the end of that level. Uh, moving along, yeah, unfortunately, I don't have a shot right here. I think. Uh, it's okay. I can just go a little bit different route. Maybe loses like 10 seconds. This level is also another one of those where you just uh, hit a rail boost and then you're at the end pretty much. So by making all the levels non-linear, uh, it kind of helped us out a little bit. Totally. This game's really easy to find. Oh, I went the wrong way. Whoops. <laughs> I thought I had ammo. <laughs> If you don't have ammo, you have to go this way. Kind of sucks, but there we go. Just have to go up. Miss that jump. All right, here we go. A little bit of ammo right up here for us to use. This is yeah. Usually you don't go all the way up there, but that's okay. Here's the rail boost to the end. Sometimes you can actually go too high, and it will just insta-kill you. Yeah, that was, a, that was a pretty high boost, but it went well. Luckily, it didn't. Uh, fights like these are where the rocket launcher shines. You can just um, kill a lot of enemies at the same time. Yep, and that's the end of that level. All right, this one starts with a pretty, like maybe a 20 second long cutscene, so it's a good time to read donations now. Absolutely. We have a $150 donation from Work Metaphor. It says, every year I try to save a little more and give a little more. Love you guys. Keep doing all the great things you do. 
We got a $150 donation from Be Smart Doc. It says, shout out to my girls, Allie, Lily, and Jules, who are at grandma, so I can be at this awesome event with my wife. Great fun and great cause. <laughs> All right, so here we go. We're going to start out with a little bit of a glory kill, and then we're just going to pretty much go out of bounds for the rest of the level. I'll explain as we go. So first, just we're making our way up to this part. I got to load a checkpoint here because this zombie can sometimes die. Um, so it's just, just safer to load a checkpoint so we can guarantee that this glory kill works. We're going to go right here and do that. Um, oh, the reason why I shoot him kind of two times, um, I wait until he turns around so he does a fast animation. It saves maybe two seconds per glory kill. It's pretty nice. This level is really interesting, too, in terms of the history of the game, too, because it had one of the longest cutscenes, the most frustrating one. And it's we're actually going to go by where it normally takes place, right here. Um, but it wasn't really until Glory Kill skips really started being a thing for us that it actually started being a fun level. Yeah, this was the first level that Glory Kill skips were implemented in this run, so... Um. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Saves a lot. I'm going to grab the BFG here. Very important to have for later on uh, when we fight bosses. There's been a lot of reroutes through this game, or through this level, rather. This is the newest version. We used to do um, two glory kills. Now we just do one. It's changed a lot, but um, yeah, shout outs to the community who have uh, really done a good job making all these levels as quickly as possible. That's also the first time we get a chainsaw on the run, funny enough. Exactly, yep. Chainsaw is useful sometimes in the speed run. Just maybe use it twice or three times. I'm not exactly sure. All right, so that's the end of the level pretty much. I just do a Gauss boost out of bounds and precisely hit this button through the wall. Let's see it. He made that look so easy, and it's not. <laughs> Yeah, all right. Oh, my goodness. You go a little too fast or a little too slow, and you just fall into the void or hit a death plane or so much. There's, there's so many things that can go wrong in that section. Yeah, that level's pretty tricky, but once you get it down, um, not too bad. A lot of this game, just a lot of practice can make you better, pretty much like any speed run, but... Um, yeah, after the beginning of the game, the rest of the level should be pretty consistent. All right, so I'm going to use the chainsaw now um, after this elevator ride to get some ammo. It's one of the few uses of it. Even an intentional use of it. <laughs> yeah. But you can actually, yeah, hit these guys through the wall to get ammo, so not exactly intentional. <laughs> Okay, maybe I light a little. <laughs> uh, don't want to hit that animation, but it's all good. Now we're going through the wall one more time. Yep. <laughs> surprise, surprise. I'm sure you didn't see that one coming. There it goes. Glory kill through the wall. And now we just got to jump up here. Just some more out of bounds platforming. Here's a rail boost. Coming up. I didn't quite get high enough, unfortunately, so I'm going to have to redo that one. Um, sometimes you get low FPS at that, that one, so mm -hmm. we'll try again. No big deal. I think I kind of let these guys walk to me a little too much last time, so we'll see. Glory kill through the wall. Same out of bounds sequence. All right, here we go. See if this works. Oh, much better. There we go, yeah. I had a lot more FPS there for some reason. Oh. 
normally he's supposed to jump over that wall that he hit there, and it would get him into a much further part of the level. Yeah, yeah. That, I just kind of messed up that Gauss boost, but it's okay. It's not too slow yeah. going this way. There's at least the backup. Yep. With a very special button. <laughs> yeah, we'll get to see this button, actually. It's pretty funny. You just click it through the wall and skip the whole fight. It's pretty hilarious. Usually we don't see that button in the run, but there it is. Fun to show off. Okay, so this part is where some of the latest developments in this game have happened. Uh, there's a pretty long cutscene here, but after that, we'll see a pretty new glitch that just came out on Friday. We just found it, so mm -hmm. be on the lookout. This normally had one of the last fights that was required left in the game, and it just got its first skip, so it's exciting. Definitely very exciting to skip this fight. Okay, so now we're going to have a cutscene, uh, about a minute or so, so it'd be a good time to read donations. Right on, we got a few here. Uh, let's see, we have a $10 donation from Kaleo100130, says, time to rip and tear. We have a $5 uh, donation, says, make sure to trust Samuel Hayden. He seems like a swell guy, and remember, rip and tear. <laughs> We have a $210 donation from Old Beard Man. Says, always happy to donate to the cause, putting my money towards Castlevania Circle of the Moon fighter mode, because who doesn't like a donation battle? All right, so this cutscene maybe has 30 seconds left, but I'll kind of explain what's going on. Um, it's, it's like a glory kill skip that we've seen throughout the whole run, but... There's some weird stuff do to do with the collision of the rail and the glory kill animation on an imp, which is the monster that's primarily in the next fight. And it just clips us straight through the floor. So we'll see if I can get it. I'm going to go for it a few times. It's pretty new to me. Uh, I, didn't, I haven't done it until I got to this event. So we'll see how it goes. So here comes an imp. Just got to, well, there's actually two this time. That's OK. I didn't get that. It, I didn't get it that time. Let's try again. Should, there yep, there it is. There we go. Hang on. There's still more. Still a little bit more. Oh, this is not too great. Eh, collision gets a little weird. Yeah, I, I'm going to have to reload there, unfortunately. Uh -huh. um, yeah, but that was the new new skip. It's pretty pretty cool. I like it a lot. It's really we've always theorized about clipping with imps, so it's nice to actually be able to do it. Oh, he just got killed. <laughs> Friendly fire. There we go. Got it again. Let's see. We can make this out of bounds part work. There, that was a much better boost. Sweet. Okay, this out of bounds section is a little tricky, but yeah, there's some weird collision. Like I just got stuck in the ground for no reason there, but we made it. And we take the elevator to the first boss fight of the game. Yeah, that skip is extremely difficult. It took me probably 100 hours of playing the game to not fail it. So you guys like boss fights? <laughs> yeah, here's uh, the first boss fight. We'll see a pretty fun glitch. There we go. Just hold the weapon wheel and his health drains. But wait, there's still more. Yep, that was only the first phase. He's and yeah, that, that was uh, a little bit too slow, uh, just that weapon wheel thing, so we're going to skip that this time. All right, there, there we go. We go. <laughs> just jump off his head, and you can skip the whole fight.
Luckily, the BFG has the side effect of stunning bosses, mm -hmm. so it makes that much easier to set up. Totally, yeah. It's pretty consistent, just because he stuns the same way every time. Exactly. This level is probably use, has been using the same route since the game started, or close to the same route. It's one of the first ones broken, for sure. Yeah. A lot, nothing much has changed, and it's a pretty short level. A bunch of enemies here that he has to take care of, but luckily the BFG is, you know, a little strong. Yeah, that will take all of them out. And two BFG shots is a little faster here, maybe three seconds or so, so that's why we use two. You can also kill all of them with just one. All righty. Out of bounds. Again, that one is pretty much just you get out of bounds by uh, just jumping through the ceiling. It's really simple. No glory kills or anything. Just jump through the ceiling. And here's the end of the level. <laughs> yep, there's the end. We've got a we've got a few donations that have yeah, come through. Do you mind? It. All yeah. right, we've got a one hundred and fifty dollar donation from Das Puggernaut that says, "Looking forward to all the puns this week. Thank you for all you do." We have a fifty dollar donation from DSF one nine zero says, "Donating during one of my favorite speed runs ever. Been watching GDQ for years, and I finally have the funds to donate. The first day has been so good already, and I'm looking forward to the rest of the week. Donation to Runner's Choice." All right. Uh, yeah, so just to interrupt one second, this yeah, is the no only ammo upgrade we get in the run. Um, it's pretty important because we it refreshes your BFG ammo. So that's why we get that one. And now he'll be able to Gauss Cannon up one yep. more time. Out of, out of the, just this, right out the roof, pretty much, <laughs> yep. The gap he just jumped is a lot scarier than it looked. If you hit the wrong rock, you pretty much just insta-die. But that skipped the entirety of this level, and it's a very long one, casually. Yep, totally. Just skipped with a few fairly simple Gauss boosts. Um, this guy didn't get killed by the BFG. You usually want him to, so I'm going to have to just fight him. So, going into the second to last boss fight. This one proceeds like all the other boss fights in the game. <laughs> Loading the checkpoint skips cutscenes, so we do it. Mm -hmm. So, here we go one BFG shot, and then another just drains his health just like that. So. Mm -hmm. When bosses are stunned, they actually take extra damage as well, so it's even faster. <laughs> okay, so that was the first phase of the fight. The second phase is going to look very similar. But wait, there are two enemies. <laughs> it has to be harder, right? No, actually not. <laughs> All right, so just you literally just shoot a BFG and then hold the weapon wheel, and that's about the fight. Kill one and turn around, kill the other. Pretty simple. There's actually two glory kill animations you can get on this boss, but if you kill them in quick enough succession, then um, you'll get the same exact glory kill. I don't really know why that happens, but it's a little faster. And here's a little cutscene to the end of the level, so it'd be a great time for donations. Right on. We have a $25 donation from Jerry P. Says, my favorite week of the year is back. So pumped to kick it off by donating for Doom. Rip and tear the level boundaries. Good luck and let's hit two million. We have an anonymous $100 donation that says, I love you. <laughs> we love you right back. We do. We have a $500 donation from Redshift. Awesome. 
And, and Redshift says, I like trains. So do we, Redshift. <laughs> Thank you. OK, so starting off this level, there's a little bit of a skip. Oh, OK, it didn't work. <laughs> You're supposed to skip that little animation um, by hitting that button, but I guess the timing wasn't quite right that time. You went too fast. Yeah. <laughs> This is pretty much the last fight in the game we actually uh, just fight all the enemies in. We don't clip through the wall. It's just. Mm -hmm. There is potential to skip it, though, because the, as you can see, there's a bunch of imps around. So since we can now clip with them, maybe we'll see a uh, skip in the future. <laughs> yeah. I hope we skip this fight soon. That would bring the time of this run down by a lot. OK, so for this fight, it's pretty much just shooting BFGs in the right place. There's a little bit of RNG here, unfortunately. Um, can kill good runs just because of enemies that don't die to the BFG shots. But we'll, we'll see what happens here. Shoot it right there. That should kill everyone. I see an imp over there alive. And he was the last guy. All right. Now for one of the worst rail boosts in the game. Mm -hmm. This one's pretty hard to do. Requires you to have a lot of frames per second, but I'm going to go for it. We'll see how it works. If he gets it, it's probably the most impressive, though. Yeah, it's a little harder to do without loading a checkpoint here because there's a lot more enemies on the screen, so you get more, less frames per second. Start by clipping through the wall, as per usual. Mm -hmm. Good time to talk about the speedrun tool that gets used for Doom as well, um, just to help with lower NPCs. Um, Instagibs made a tool to lower your resolution scale below normal. Yep. And that helps by making the game look horrible like that, but you can get much better frames. All right, it looks like I made it right to the end of the level there. All right, yeah, so that's really good to get. It saves probably 10 to 15 seconds without loading the checkpoint, but it does require a good computer to hit that skip. Um, even if you put it on, like, potato mode, and um, yeah, it's, it's a pretty good one. Bye, Vega. <laughs> yep, there he goes, and that's the end of that level. So now we're at the last level. It is just about getting out of bounds, as fast as possible and getting to the end of the level as fast as possible. Nothing too fancy with the glory kills or anything. No rail boosts or glory kills, just platforming pretty much. Doom is my favorite platformer. <laughs> All right, so jump over here, up on top of the statue. There we go. Over to here. Jump across this large gap. OK. And that area down below is a fight. Mm -hmm. Yep, we're just climbing out of bounds the whole way to the end. And that fight is over. Jump up here on this guy's shoulder, and we're going to drop down to the last fight in the game. Oh, I somehow <laughs> grabbed the ledge there. Never seen that one, but that's the classic. OK. He can die very easily right here, but it looks like he got it. Yep, first try, down to the, down to the end. Okay, so like normal. It may not look like anything's happening here, but it is. Yep. <laughs> Sometimes the health bar doesn't go down, so you kind of just got to know the timing of when they, you know, when they die. Last phase, we fire one last BFG shot and finish off the Spider Mastermind, and that's the game. Mm -hmm. So time, time is coming up when I glory kill the spider.
And time. That's the game. Yeah, so thanks a lot for watching me play Doom. It's my favorite game. I really love playing it. Excited for the sequel. Um, thanks for the opportunity to come here and show it off. Big shout outs to the Doom community, Seeker, um, Henny, all you guys in the Discord. Um, a lot of people are really good at finding things for this game. It's a really broken game, and it couldn't have got that way without you guys. And uh, shout outs to SGDQ. Um, for the opportunity to run and all these donations coming in. I really think it's a great cause and I'm so happy to be a part of it. So thanks guys. Absolutely. Fantastic run there by Jerome Good to Doom 2016. Coming up next, we're going to have JTB running Resident Evil 4. Going to take a few moments to get that set up. And for the meantime, just want to let you know that we're coming together, Summer Games Done Quick 2018, for Doctors Without Borders. Just want to tell you about them a little bit. Doctors Without Borders, otherwise known as Medicine Sense Frontiers, is a medical humanitarian organization working in more than 60 countries around the world. MSF is a private international association. MSF provides assistance to populations in distress, to victims of natural or man-made disasters, and to victims of armed conflict. They do so irrespective of race, religion, creed, or political convictions. You can find out more at doctorswithoutborders.org. Want to get to a few more uh, Doom-centric donations before uh, JTB gets started with Resident Evil 4. Uh, let's take a look here. We have... Let's see, we have a, a $100 donation. Hope I pronounced your name correctly. Chris Piotrowski. Uh, Chris from CAPY here, or otherwise maybe known as Cappy. Doom 2016 made me love FPSs again. And the music rocks so hard I hurt my neck. Sorry for taking so long finishing below. The idea of one day seeing it annihilated by a speedrunner on Games Done Quick keeps me motivated. Love this event. We have a $10 donation from JRP, says hello from Australia. Doom is my favorite series and I love seeing it get crushed and squished to bits. But every time I see it, I get nightmares of WOW.WAD from the original Doom with a cyber demon. Good luck with the run and have fun. We have a $10 donation from Forklift Boy, says I just bought Doom, excuse me, Doom 2016 on Thursday or Friday and I just beat it today. Only took me five hours to get to the first boss. Took you 25 minutes. It's cool. First SGDQ, happy to donate. We have a $200 donation from Swordsman1, who says, looking forward to Mega Man tomorrow. Good thing it's after work. Love this charity stream. Keep up the great work. $50 from Arrow146, who says, been looking forward to SGDQ 2018. Been a great day of runs, thanks to the staff and all the runners. We have a $150 donation from Rogue Kitsune, who says, GDQ is always an awesome event. Thanks to all that make it happen, and good luck to the runners. We have $50 from Carl70, who says, I'm so glad I'm still awake for this run. It's 3.30 in the morning here. Greetings from Germany, of course. I love this game. I love the speed run. I love all you guys for doing this. $25 from Real Wit Broker, who says, $25 donation. I get a shot at the Companion Cube quilt. Shut up and take my money. We have a $40 donation from Fango, who says, just started watching and spending 40 bucks already for that Skull Kid statue. Guess I'm gonna spend some money this week. Save them, as always. We have a $123 donation from Hayden, who says, shout out to my incredibly sweet boyfriend, Gunner, who beat me to the punch on the shout out game. Come back to Seattle soon, I miss you.
we have an anonymous $1,000 donation. Right on. It's, it simply says, woo! We have a $100 donation from Awesome Sauce 115 who says, Doom is great. It's one of my favorite games, and I was happy to see it included in 2018's lineup. The soundtrack is also banging. Good luck to all the runners. $50 from Felt Salamander says, SGDQ is always one of my favorite weeks of the year. Here's to the start of a great week that I'm sure we're all hyped for. <laughs> we have a $100 donation from Lunar Lemons who says, been watching since 2015, and it's always amazing to see so many people come together to support great causes like Doctors Without Borders. I will donate another $50 if the audience gives a round of applause for all the people that make this possible. I think we can do that, Lunar Lemons. We have a $150 donation from Rogue Link, who says, making my promised donation for all the deaths and menus in the Shantae run. Donating for fighter mode in Circle of the Moon. While JTB is still getting uh, set up for Resident Evil 4, just want to remind you of another one of our sponsors, World 9 Gaming. From PCs to arcades and consoles, old and new, World 9 Gaming aims to provide the highest quality video gaming experience to events in the Midwest and beyond. With our dedicated staff, tournament expertise, and expansive collection of games and consoles, World 9 is ready to take your event to the next level. For information on booking and upcoming events, check world9gaming.com. 